peace welcome welcome back to my space thank you for all authentic energetic exchanges inspired actions taken toward me at this time any given time i greatly appreciate it let's get it capricorn a kiss how you doing this is your spiritual orientation for the month of july okay let's get into it capricorns Okay, not just Capricorn Suns, there you go, and the King of Pentacles, and Cancerian here with the anchor on the bottom of the deck. Listen, are you ready for your full moon in about a couple weeks, something like that? Are we? Are we? Let's see, this may have something to do with that, but overall, not just for Capricorn Suns, wherever you have Capricorn all right, Capricorn moon, something like that, all right? But let's see, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, whatever it is, let's get one card to see what this is about overall. Yes, North Node, Capricorn, Saturn, okay? But we have yes, it's affirmative, okay? Yes, Pluto is in Capricorn, yes, yes, Capricorn archetype has going through it has been going through major transformation, purification in whatever you know the characteristics of Capricorn when it comes to politics, your status overall, your career, legacy, all right? That's say politics, all right? Transformation, digging up the dirty, all right? And that includes all things potential karmic, all right? The past, south node whatever it is, so that you can what? Get blessed. And not just by anyone. Of course, you don't allow anyone to be less you, right? It's what you know you are being blessed by. Jupiter, wherever your Jupiter is or whatever, right? But we do have an affirmative here. Yes, the answer to your question is yes. So let's talk about it, all right? Let's let's get more into this. What has been transformed and now it's an affirmative or is that just what it is? Yes, transformation is here. Yes, it is happening. And yes, it is for blessings, all right? All right, Good, greater fortune. Gratitude, all right, gratitude. Two more. Now, what do we have? Six of Cups. So, yes, this is like, you know how it was always like a thing? Um, I wanted to go back to normal, right? There ain't no going back to normal. But there can be, and then, yes, there was a thing about it being it a new normal. But some people's like, no, I don't want, you know, and that's not to say if you wear a mask or whatever and getting shot up that that you can't make that your new normal. Sure, if you want to, but you know, there are some people like, no, I don't want that to be my new normal either. But this does feel like a good nostalgia. Like it's not gonna be like the old normal, but a good new normal, if that makes sense. Six of cups, all right? A way of life, maybe a particular person, some type of soulmate that feels like home or from the past, maybe even like a past life. But yes, all right, this is for, it feels like whatever this transformation, and it's Pluto, okay, it's not going to feel great, okay, especially if you've been resisting, but it is to bring that, the, you know, the good old days, whatever you consider that to be, all right, and I'm not, let's chill with the, you know, fogassery on that, we're not talking about that good old days, fogassery, no, maybe we are, but let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if there is an overall vibe here of there's adversity in a couple of different ways we're going to talk about it but ultimately there is a resolve to not 
be low vibe about it, not stay contracted or chained to any particular vice or addiction or way of life um, that is regressive freedom to a certain degree, but there's still like an emotional turmoil here. So I kind of feel like this yes is yes, things are still transforming because this doesn't feel good emotionally. Two people that have significant water placements or um, the fourth house area of life, your home, your emotional security, history, or sex, or uh, eighth house things, shared resources, transformation, or 12th house, like somebody could be psycho, or something like that. There's, there's separation there between two people, heavy water, so you have heavy water placement, or again, this has something to do with intimacy, with emotions here. We got two other people here. Well, let's see. What is this for, Swords? So at this time, this is, if you aren't already, if you aren't already, this does talk about right now, it's about taking a rest, Four Swords. At least a mental rest. Give yourself some mental peace. All right, if you, you know, of course, if you can't take a, a vacation, you know, in order to, you know, heal something here, these emotions, like, do you, like, taking a mental rest. Tell me about this four of swords. Yeah, because six of swords reverse. Two people, at least two people here, and I'm going to say this king and queen of cups, because they're both up here and they're separate, they're a pair. Like they're not the, the six of swords. Is like we're not gonna we're not gonna make peace with this. We're not gonna see eye to eye. We're not gonna make amends. I'm not gonna lead. I'm not gonna help you do things your way. Like just go something like that. Six of swords. So just leave it. Give it a rest. It feels like trying to make something work to somebody like in a mental way. Trying to convince them. See you know of something verbally like talking to them or trying to get them to see things your way or explaining it you know, try to explain yourself to get it. Like, it's not, it's not going to happen. All right. Tower moment. All right. This could have been unexpected. Like somebody could unexpectedly just give up on this. Like, all right, fine. All right. Because eight of swords. I, I, I don't know. I don't know about this. Like, I don't, I, I, I gotta, I, I gotta get out of here. Somebody could be trying to, to convince somebody like, listen, we're, there's, we put in a significant amount of work. Knight of Pentacles. And Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is somebody that is generous. They are very resourceful. You know, kind. Their kindness could be taken for a weakness, but they know how to balance home and work. That person could be saying, or maybe somebody could be telling that person, whatever. But the situation is, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Like this, we already put in too much work and don't let it go down the drain by not listening because... Something ain't going to work, Page of Pentacles, and it's causing this person anxiety or somebody anxiety. Somebody could be telling somebody, like, listen, you know, you can't spend this money on your vices, like, or something like that. Let's say this is like a business owner or something about a business or something like that, and somebody's using money to fuel some type of addiction or gambling problem or they power tripping or something like that. Devil in reverse again, and somebody's saying, no, we can't do that. I don't want to do that. We can't do that. So because of that, now the emotional connection is broken too. Like not only can we not work together, it's looking like, but also this, like, this is not, I'm, I don't see myself here anymore. This is not making me happy. Ten of Cups reverse, like, nah, this is not my idea. So this is like a separation of some type of family, okay? Could have been a family business or, you know, even, even if it wasn't like, all right, if you want to work that way, like, I just got to go because this is not my ideal. This is not making, you know, I, I, I don't want to be connected to this. Like, this person is thinking of somebody, somebody is thinking about their own stability. Like, I need to be able to take care of myself. And it's looking like that's in jeopardy.
yeah, there's deceptive practices here. Seven of Swords, like there's some kind of, I just thought money laundering or somebody is, there's like some, some kind of not good business or money practices going on. Page of Wands, Hanging Man Reverse, Ace of Pentacles, like, yeah, at least one person is calling like, yo, this is over, I'm out. Page of Wands, I'm going this way, I'm starting fresh. Hanging man in reverse. I'm not sacrificing any else. There's no other way that I can see this or, again, try to get you to explain. We have an ace of pentacles here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I'm pretty good with starting over myself or maybe I do have another prospect where we can build this up from the ground up again. But five of cups reverse, judgment reverse. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be emotional over this. Like, because look, five of cups in the back. Like, we already went through this. Something about this is a, a repeat. Like, no way am I going to be in turmoil emotionally. Uh-uh. Five of Cups. Somebody's like, I didn't do this. Like, this is not me. Like, we are linked together. Like, what you do affects me too or something like that. And no way. Uh, I, I got to get out while the getting's good or something like that. I'm, I'm getting like, no. No. Somebody's like, this looks bad on me. This looks bad on me. Yeah, chariot card in reverse. Okay, this could have impacted somebody's travel to a large degree, like their car or just moving around. Or again, with the chariot card, for me, that's pretty much an individual's own manifest destiny. Like, this is affecting my life, like my soul path, my mission. Like, I'm a, like essentially, even though I'm saying, I'm, I'm voicing my opinion, I do feel like this person is, is making a stance. But staying connected to this is just as good as me saying, you know, letting you do this and saying yes. And I can't do that. Like, no, I can't let somebody over control that. So world card. All right. So world card. I got to ascend. This is about, you know, world does denote distance too. Breaking out some type of rigidity when it pertains to like Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, something like that with one's own personal finances, their creative control, again, shared resources, or they see like in the future, like this is not gonna work. And again, like nine of cups is about my individual happiness and my emotional stability. If you're not gonna give it to me, if we can't talk about this or whatever, like it's elsewhere. 10 of cups, this 10 of, this ten of cups, this is what I, my ideal family, again, if this is business and family, whether separate or together, like, this ain't it. Lovers in reverse, like, no. Um, mm -hmm. I'll attract something else. Like, I'm attractive, be it physically, energetically, with my skill set. Uh, you know, I'm very ambitious. I know how to make things happen, so no. So this somebody's thinking, this person or, or not, somebody is like, you know, nine of pentacles in reverse, like, in, in their mind, like, yo, this has a po possibility for, for me not being able to take care of myself. Or that's that's what's, that's in somebody's mind. The inability to, you know, maintain oneself in an economic sense. Um, when it comes to shopping or adorning their self, like the extras and things like that, they won't be able to do that anymore. Like, no. Yeah, lovers. Like I got, I got to, I got to go with somebody else. Hmm. Who would that be? Yeah. King of cups. Five of wands, moon card. Yeah. Like, I don't know who. Yeah. So I do feel like it's the same energy that is saying, no, I can't, I can't do this. And they don't know. I don't feel like they do have somebody in the wings, like waiting. I don't think they necessarily have somebody, you know, in their uh, field of, you know, vision yet. Yeah, I don't necessarily think so. But, because the moon card is here. And it's like, you know, this may be a struggle. Five of Wands, moon card, page of cups, queen of cups in reverse again. And right now, this is emotionally disturbing. This is emotionally disturbing, but they could feel like they're vying for this person's affection too. Now, not only are you fucking up with this work situation or business or whatever but i kind of feel like maybe you are even got one foot out the door or something like that and i'm fighting for your attention so no they gotta be somebody else all right and knight of pentacles this person has put in some some work or this there's work being done here there's some type of due diligence here knight of pentacles like right now
I'm kind of feeling just one person's energy with this, like this person that is saying that they're done. Like, I, I can't do this. We'll see when we get over there. Yeah, High Priestess. So somebody could be making a secret plan. Like this person that's leaving could kind of like, not that they're going to leave like a thief in the night, maybe, but maybe that they're just not. Because again, I do feel like this was expressed. And maybe because they think that somebody else is being sneaky, they want to keep it on the hush too. Like somebody's, it, it feels like somebody's being sneaky. Seven of Swords, deceptive. But somebody else is just being quiet about it. High Priestess, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm standing my ground. Seven of Wands, Six of Wands in reverse. Like, yeah, Six of Wands in reverse is like not giving attention. Not necessarily want, and this, this is feeling like not really wanting attention either. I do feel like somebody is like, you know, possibly like putting money away or something like that because they know like, listen, I'm not doing this three. Yeah, I'm not getting my heart broken again. Three is towards reverse, like, no, I'm not doing that. And if something comes page of cups, death card and offers me, like I see, like it's blatant that the, like this, wow. Like, yeah, all this person is waiting for is like an offer or to make one. Page of cups, death card, ace of swords, star card, like, listen, like, this person's like, fantastic, like, I'm fantastic. Soon as something, like, I know something is successful. Like, they, they're not looking to bandwagon on anything else or even, like, um, be an opportunist. That's, it doesn't feel like an opportunist. It just feels like, you know, I'm not going to put myself in a bad situation. I don't have to, especially because I feel like somebody's being sneaky, deceptive. Like, I'm going, like, I'm going to move in silence, it feels like. Knight of Pentacles, High Priestess. I'm going to move in silence. So, who is this King of Cups? What is this King of Cups? That could be the partner that's being sneaky. Like, their partner that's like, yo, I think you're giving it to somebody else anyway. Like, I think you have another choice too. All right? And you lying about it. They could be asking this person outright, like, what are you doing? And they, they could feel like they're lying. Like, I think you're being loyal to something else. Because you know I'm not down with this. Yeah, four pentacles holding back something. They giving just enough to this situation. And maybe to another situation too. Like they got some type of night. Yeah, they juggling something. Yeah, they thinking about walking away too. Whoever this king king of cups is, they thinking about walking away too. Eight of cups, two, two of pentacles. I feel like they're doing the same thing, but one is lying, like they're deceptive. Like this one is absolutely focused on money. All right, King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, they're focused on money. Whatever situation that is going to bring them like a bag or money or something like that, they're out. And meanwhile, when it comes to this current connection and maybe even if they are in another one, because I just feel like that's somebody else's suspicions. And there's seven of swords here. So there's a strong possibility that this person is right, especially with the high priestess. That person, you know, they, they're intuitive. They're get, they're just giving enough to whatever they're involved with. They're only just giving enough. And when they see that opportunity that says bank, ten of pentacles or whatever, then they're out. They're out. All right. So there's that energy. And then there's a queen of pentacles. That I kind of feel that, like, yeah, strength card in the past here with, uh, yeah, I got to have the strength to know that this is not in my destiny. All right. So I kind of feel like this queen of pentacles goes with this person that's moving in silence. All right. Like I said, that person that, you know, knows how to balance home and work. Absolutely resourceful. All right. Fierce. This person, this one is like, they don't play no games. Could, could take care of their body or their health, too. So this, this queen is kind of muscular, you know what I'm saying? So they could be into their physical health. Don't have to be, but I say what I can't. And this person, like, this looks like a snail on her head. So this person, it feels like they will also, like, take their time. Like, they don't necessarily make quick decisions. Like, if they do, if it looks like a quick decision, trust. They, it's some shit like this. They had a plan for a while, okay? It ain't no quick decision. 
Yeah, Ten of Swords, this person is going through pain, like a, a very, like this is painful, this conflict. Knight of Cups, Devil card. I just got dancing with the devil. Like, you know, it feels like for this person, it may be even painful for them to like be cordial in this situation or allow someone to think that they can like m manipulate them emotionally because they know what it's hitting for. But again, Page of Wands, Ace of Swords, as soon as they see something and they possibly know this person is going to feel like this person is going to come back in. Like, damn it, man. It's, it's like they, this person could foresee disaster and somebody's not listening because they're most likely only going for it about their money. What is this King of Wands in reverse? So in externally, I do feel like it's this, you know, the, the, this person that is doing this moving in silence, they feel like, listen, again, I'm just following somebody, not following them, like not like a puppy, but I'm connected to someone that really just wants to do things how they want to do it. They don't care. Could use, you know, uh, like some type of seduction to get what they want or sex or something like that. Their looks, all right, their energy or something like that. I just got false promises, all right. Could be, you know, they got, you know, they use their charisma or something like that to get people to do what they want. And it's like, I, I'm not, I'm not with that. Moon card. Let me get another one. Again, like, yeah, this, like, there's no, there, there, there's no trust here. This move in silence person that is making this decision is like, yo, I can't trust this. Moon card, justice reverse. Like, this is, if I stay here, the more karma I'm going to bring on myself, because no matter what, karma is when in your mind, you know, like, I shouldn't be here. You feel that you shouldn't be here, but you're working with that that you're staying there and you're producing something or gaining something that somebody's going to have to clean up. All right. Cause most people don't like to clean up their shit. So their children have to clean up their shit or the, some type of collective has to clean up their shit like that shit. That's karma. All right. Four cups, page of cups. Like again, it feels like they're, they are waiting on like some type of message or something to come through that they've been working on for a while so they can make this decision to walk away. I mean, I ain't gonna say just do what you gotta do, like separate, but it feels like they're waiting, that there's something specific that they need to connect with, hear from, or something like that in order to make this final, but justice in reverse. Could be some type of legal situation that they're going through, like waiting for that to come through. Maybe they don't think, they're not sure how it's going to go. But um, I would say it would go in their favor because the justice is in reverse on this King, King of Wands energy, like this elusive energy. Like, I don't think it's going to work out good for that person. So what is this devil in reverse? Maybe they're concerned that... They, you know, if they'll ever be able to really get away from this situation because they really want to, like they don't want to be connected to this. Yeah, four swords again. Like they want peace from this. I do feel like they want to give it a rest. All right, that's the concern. It, like, because this ain't working. Maybe they are concerned that they'll be stuck in a space where things just won't be produced. They won't have emotional support. What is this Queen of Cups reverse? That's what I was saying. Like, it feels like this is still happening. But I do feel like, yes, ultimately, the answer is yes. This is transforming. And Six of Cups on the bottom, like, you will get back that sense of um, feeling good again. Nostalgia. There'll be another, you know, soulmate. Whoever it is, don't have to be romantic, but somebody that's authentically going to help you. It's upright. But two of wands, knight of cups. It feels like princess of pentacles. It kind of feels like, in some way, maybe even mentally, you got to make your own way. Like, depending on how long you quote unquote waiting for something. Like, kind of like maybe don't put all your eggs in one basket type situation or 
you're going to be, so long as you keep moving forward with you, you're going to be taken care of. But Queen of Cups in Reverse, that's like my Pisces spaz emotionally dis dis disturbed card. What is that? Empress. See, there is like some type of glow up. There is. Um, once the the emotions get balanced or putting up some type of boundaries, maybe it's a matter of not letting this situation get, a, you know, not to say that you're not going to get into that emotional space, but maybe it's about time, not letting it, not staying in that space, being depressed, feeling, you know, I just got soulless. But to us towards the sun, it feels like a decision to remain optimistic because the devil is in reverse it showed up in reverse again there is it's like all right you're, it's it yes you're it's it's heard it is noted it is duly noted that you no longer wish to be concerned with this thing and right now it feels like it's still playing out but there will be forward movement even if it means like this person is not going to say something that maybe this person is waiting for this person to make some type of decision. Like this moving in silence person has to wait for this person to say something for whatever reason and they're just being deceptive and they're not. It feels like it doesn't matter. It feels like a choice to a swords, sun card to l literally look at the bright side, stay optimistic because there will be abundance here, some type of glow up ultimately and maybe it's, you know, worrying about if, that, if that's going to happen. It feels like this is still playing out. All right. Some type of painful ending with a partnership, an authentic partner. And this, and somebody is putting in the work. The Queen of Pentacles is stable. It will, Queen of Pentacles, it may not be money. Money may not be everything. It may have some other type of resource may have to go through. And it, but the Queen of Pentacles is resourceful. All right, whatever resources they are, even if somebody's trying to hold back and, you know, only give just enough. It feels like stay optimistic. There will be another choice here. Lover's card. The whip. All right, so somebody could even be doing doing this on purpose like being oppressive on purpose like they they could possibly know that somebody is depending on something in particular and that could be the deception because the whip is drama tension and again with the labyrinth it's like i don't know how i'm gonna get out of this like i'm in the dark i have to utilize my sixth sense even or something like that but the clover card for me is my card of making your own way making your own opportunities they may not last whatever comes but it, it's certainly a stepping stone all right to you know rectify something have something come back around to the bridges like some type of reconciliation and you don't know about this choice coming there's a very authentic i don't know what's going to happen but it feels like trusting yourself all right do your best to stay emotionally stable and there will be a choice all right something like that but that's what i have to have a i appreciate you and i'll see you next time